Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get Party Like It's 1520 in Hearts of Iron 4 in the new Arms Against Tyranny DLC. So, first off, to get this achievement, you need to take over Stockholm as a communist Denmark. Now, you might be thinking that we're going to go immediately into uh, communism, because that's part of the achievement, but actually we're going to go monarchist then communist, because the monarchist tree makes it a lot easier to take over Sweden without the allies guaranteeing. So even though this was showing on screen, I do want to talk about the starting moves. So you're going to take the first focus, reaffirm neutrality, and um, for your research I would recommend trying to stay up to date with infantry, as that's going to be the most important technology because of how short this campaign is but also keep up with like industry and some research speed bonuses as well. And then for industry, you're going to be building uh, civilian factories for a while um, in the beginning. And then for uh, military industry, you pretty much leave it as it is until later. So for your next focus, do you unify the right, then hire Mood Bach. And then for your next three focuses, do conspire with the officer corps, encourage paramilitary organizations, and gain the support of the conservatives. Also something that I forgot to mention, but it was shown on screen, is that you need to train uh, seven divisions, or start training them, at the beginning of the game, uh, just so they can get as much equipment as they possibly can before you actually start to build up your military industry. Also, you want to continuously raise your conscription law until it gets to uh, extensive conscription. And also for those divisions I was telling you to train, make sure that, that they are the smaller infantry divisions, not the cavalry, the smaller infantry divisions, um, since you won't have a whole lot of manpower to uh, do the larger infantry divisions. Then your next focus will be continue the I don't even know how to say that, so I won't even try. Uh, it's in the economy path, the left branch. Also, around this time, you should be able to move up to partial mobilization, which will help your economy a lot. Then, for your next two focuses, do devalue the chrome, then agricultural subsidies. Also, you should be doing the uh, balance of power decisions, criticize your preparedness, and question our defenses, since you will need uh, around over 30% uh, military spending to get the monarchy. The last audio clip I actually meant uh, so you can do Scandinavian security as a focus, but now we're going to do overthrow the government and then put the king in power as our next two focuses. Then take support the Schleswigen farmers focus. Sorry if I said that wrong. Then once you have around 150 surplus of support equipment, we're going to cancel the production of support equipment, then put 10 factories on infantry equipment, then create a new production line for support equipment with one factory assigned to it, just so um, your infantry equipment gets prioritized as we start getting more military factories through these next few focuses. Then for your next four focuses, do public works, connect the islands, reorient production lines, and then strengthen military industries. Now after you finish connect the islands, you'll want to start building military factories because you'll have a pretty big boost to your production uh, construction speed.
Your next focus, do seek protection. Also, around this time, you should start training another 12 of the smaller infantry divisions. After Seek Protection is finished, um, I would recommend deploying uh, some of those divisions that you're training just to make sure that you have enough manpower in order to do Scandinavian Security next. After you finish Scandinavian Security, uh, there will be a, an event that asks you, um, I guess, what your stance on neutrality is. And so for this achievement, we are going to create a faction just to get rid of the debuff that the uh, Declaration of Neutrality gives you. Your next two focuses do for King and Fatherland, and then to expand the Royal Guard. Also, um, after, like just right after you select for King and Fatherland, you should have enough political power to replace Nud Bak with the Communist Revolutionary. And now this begins your path of switching your ideology. Then once you get to over 10% Communist support and um, 75 or more political power, you should take the decision, um, open up political discourse. Once you finally um, have a surplus of infantry equipment, you should deploy all of the remaining divisions that you have training, and then half of them, which should be the uh, less trained divisions of your army, will be uh, garrisoning your ports, I would recommend actually garrisoning Copenhagen because it might make um, the Swedish AI put more troops on that strait, which will make it harder to get across later. You also should assign the infantry officer as your field marshal because you should be able to get infantry expert immediately as one of his traits, which is a pretty decent bonus. Also. You now want to start uh, training these divisions even more. So what we'll do for that is shift click on the uh, gear button and this will exercise your troops until they hit elite rank which gives them a nice bonus uh, to combat. Then you want to take secure Swedish steel as your next focus. Also to help you change ideologies faster I'd recommend doing anti-democratic and anti-fascist raids when you can. Then when your divisions uh, that are set up on the Swedish border are done exercising and are at elite rank, you should declare war on Sweden. The war plan for Sweden might vary depending on how your game goes, but in my specific case, um, I couldn't make it past the strait even with forced attack, so I had to naval invade the port under the crossing and then um, a province next to that so that I could get the multiple directions bonus attacking the um, strait. Now sometimes you will be able to push across the strait without even having to uh, do this and a little bit better but a little bit of a more risky strategy which is why I don't do it is you could in also naval invade the province above the strait but that's kind of dangerous because you could lose uh, the divisions that do that naval invasion so in my case I put four divisions on that port under the strait and then three divisions on the province to the right of the strait then, after making it across the strait, you should be able to do a general offensive, um, just taking a pretty decent amount of Sweden before uh, deleting the garrison ports order, that is, if there's not naval invasion currently going on when you're about to do that, and then assign all of your divisions to one army and have them do just one battle plan to knock Sweden out. And also, what I'm going to mention next is 
Um, you should probably ban like democratic parties, ban fascism, maybe, um, just to get that communist support as fast as you can, because you need to switch uh, to communism before uh, Germany declares war on you and Norway, because you're going to lose most likely when they do that. Um, but with Sweden defeated, all you really need to do in the peace deal is really just to make sure that you take Stockholm, because that is definitely required for the achievement. And once you change ideologies by holding a referendum, when you have over 50% communist support, you will get the achievement party like it's 1520. And that's about it for this video. If this video helped you get the achievement, or maybe you already had the achievement and you just wanted to see how I did it, then how about leave a like if you enjoyed. Maybe leave a comment letting me know uh, what I could do better, and I'll see you later. Peace.